Hi, everybody. This is problem 15 from chapter 8. And in this problem, we're looking at the um, a parallel RLC circuit. And the capacitor is 125 nanofarads. The inductor is 8 henrys. And they, uh, they took out the resistor. So um, the, the resistance is infinity. And what we want to find is the voltage function the general voltage function, uh, the frequency, and the maximum amplitude of the voltage function. So for part A, if you want to give you the steps, you should pause it and try it on your own, and then do the rest of the video if you get stuck, or, or check your answer. For, so for part A, you're going to want to first of all find the damping, because that tells you what form the uh, the general equation will be, will take. And um, when you do that, you're going to come across the, uh, the step of uh, finding D -I -D -I -D dx dt. And so you'll use KCL to uh, find IC, the capacitor current. Part B frequency is just the omega. Um, and part C, or part B is just the omega, excuse me, that's what the frequency is. And part C, the maximum amplitude. When you look at the general form of the function, you'll pro you're going to have to, well, you're going to find out that this is an underdamped response. And the maximum amplitude, um, you're going to take a look at the sinusoid and pull on your trigonometry background. Um, the maximum amplitude is going to be the radius of the function. Okay, so we can get started now. To find, find V of T, the first thing we have to do is we have to find the damping in order to know what kind of um, uh, the out, um, in order to know what kind of um, uh, equations to use for the coefficient and what kind of shape or the general equation will take. So we have alpha is equal to one over two R C. Omega naught is one over root L C. So here we have one over two times infinity times 125, that's just zero. And omega naught is one over root LC, eight henrys, 125 nanos. Well, it doesn't even matter what it is, because this is zero, so omega naught is greater than alpha, which means under it. So then we look up our general equation, the equations we need for the underdamp. And so underdamped equations take the form of V of T equal to theta 1 cosine omega D. Um, T plus beta 2 sine omega D T D T omega alpha T volts. So, and the coefficient equations are D of 0 is equal to beta 1 D B D T is equal to negative alpha Theta 1 plus omega d, theta 2, and then omega d is equal to root omega naught squared minus alpha squared. I forgot to put here, but uh, the initial, we have some initial information and uh, I forgot to list here that we've given current through the initial current through the inductor is 6 milliamps. We're also given the initial voltage across the capacitor is 30 volts. So we need that information. So this tells me that beta 1 is 30. So already I have that information right here. And the other piece, the other easy piece is 
the omega d, omega d. This is just going to be omega naught squared because alpha is zero. So omega naught squared is one over root LC, and that works out to be, if you put that into your calculator, the values of L and the value of C, you should get 1,000 radians per second. So that's what I got. And that goes here, that goes here. And alpha is zero, right? Remember alpha is zero? So e to the zero power is one, that goes away. So the only thing that's left is the B2. And since alpha is zero, this goes away. This we know, omega B, we know is 1,000. So it comes down to finding out what GDDT is. And for that, we're going to use the, um, the, in, uh, the equation um, C dvdt equals IC. So dvdt will be IC over C. So to find what IC is, is we know that capacitance is 125 nanos. We simply do KCL through there. So KCL, uh, by KCL we know IC plus IL plus IR equals zero. But this is zero, because it's an open no current. And we know this is six milliamps. So therefore, IC will be negative six milliamps. So this is negative six. And over here, this gives me negative, so that becomes negative 6 milliamps, and we end up with negative 6, negative 30 plus E2 is 48. So when you solve this, you have negative 6 milliamps. That's over um, 125. Solve that and you should come up with a value of V2 of 48. Okay, so here we go, 48. Okay. sleep last night because I was up reading Harry Potter all night so I'm a little bit out of it so sorry about that but omega is equal to 2 pi frequency and we already saw for omega so frequency is 1000 divided by 2 pi and that is going to be 159.15 also up working out these problems for you guys. Um, maximum amplitude. So when we have um, the voltage function is 30, 30 cosine 100 and um, this is 40 sine 1000 um, T. So um, you're going to pull on your unit circle so the maximum cosine will never be outside of 1. So the maximum of this portion will ever be is 30. The maximum of the sine portion will ever be is going to be um, 
48. But the question is, what's the maximum value? Well, remember that cosine is the x axis and the um, sine is the y value on the um, on the unit circle. So we just go out to 30, 48. And the maximum is going to be that length. So that function will never be greater than this value. And that's just the hypotenuse of this so, um, so of the this right triangle. So it's going to be 30 squared plus 48 squared. Um, that is going to give you a value of uh, 56.6 moles. 6.6 volts. And that concludes problem 815, and I do apologize for being sleepy. <laughs>